Hello guys, how are you going? It's Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel and as always, Autodidactic means to be self-educated. So you want to be self-educated guys because believe me, you do not want to learn what these guys are trying to teach you. Now, um, today's video is called NASA Fights Flat Earth, Learn How to Become an Astronaut at Home. Um, and <laughs> what happened is, um, I was just trying to get some snippets from some videos, um, from some NASA videos that uh, I could put into my videos, which you'll see coming up. Um, and this ad popped up in front of me, um, uh, a YouTube ad, and it is this astronaut, um, what's his name, Chris Hadfield, and he is teaching space, oops, sorry, that's just... Um, and it's <laughs> how to become a, uh, uh, an astronaut, by the way. But he's teaching space exploration at home. And as you can see, he's very intelligent because he's got all these pictures of spaceships and arrows <laughs> and stuff. I have no idea what this is. So let's hear what, uh, is it Chris? Chris has to say. The rocket equation, it's a beautiful thing. No astronaut launches for space with their fingers crossed. That's not how we deal with it. That's not how we cross our fingers, Chris. Chris Cross. Um, he's crossing two sets of fingers, guys. That's just weird. Risk. What I learned from 21 years as an astronaut is that the more you know, the less you fear. The reason I wanted to do this masterclass is to share the hidden depths of purpose that are behind space exploration. When the clock hits zero, start focusing in, thinking of nothing else but the moment that you're in. Study every system on a spaceship and then boil it down to what I call a one pager. You've got to be able to solve your problems in one breath. You have to push your lungs forward through the drag of the atmosphere. Crushed into your chair, you're like a leaf in a hurricane. The reason is one half rho v squared s. And that's the magic, guys. That is a magician's formula, and you'll see why. 16 times the speed of sound. As you accelerate harder and harder, that light blue Florida sky starts to get darker and darker, and then suddenly black. And the engine shut off, and you're waiting. Yes, suddenly black, the engine shut off, and you're weightless. Because you went through the magic magician's special line of atmosphere, non-atmosphere. So the Earth is a globe, apparently, spinning through an infinite universe, which is a vacuum, guys. The, they tell us the universe is a vacuum. Vacuums suck things, just just like you vacuum cleaner. A vacuum is an empty space, and because it's empty, the laws of uh, physics say that vacuums, everything rushes to fill an empty space, basically is what it says. Um, and so how, how can, and we're told we're just a tiny little insignificant planet, a little dot in, you know, the, the arse end of some... Milky Way galaxy, and um, but 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 apparently we can magically keep our atmosphere on against the enormity of the vacuum of the universe. But not just that, there is a magical like line that you can just go through. And on one side you're in the atmosphere, and on the other side you're not. So I, I wonder if. <laughs> <laughs> As you go through it, does that mean like the front end of the rocket is in the universe and weightless while the back end is not? Um, I, I don't know. And and by the way, just while I'm on the topic, you can't, um, you know, that if in a vacuum there's no oxygen, so you can't burn fire, so you can't get thrust. So how did they leave the moon once they had landed? As for another video, here we go. Turn the handle and open the hatch. You pull yourself out into the universe, and now suddenly 
When you move your knees, you can feel the searing heat of the sun on one side and the incredibly cold emptiness of space on the other. When you're no longer Earthlings, how do you navigate? You can use the stars. You can actually see how that place where you were raised fits into the overall complexity and reality of the solar system. You start to... What? So because you can navigate by the stars, that means that you can see how you fit into a, 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 an endless, voidless <clears throat> vacuum universe. Mm. Unavoidably wonder, are we alone in the universe? or not. Our technology is just good enough now that some of you taking this masterclass are going to fly in space. And there we have it. There's the hook, guys. <clears throat> so this is who they're going after. They're going after people who believe the globe theory and that somehow there's better stuff outside in the universe in these dead planets like Mars that they, well, <laughs> you know, get, you know what I mean, dead planets. As far as they tell us, Mars is a dead planet, but, 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 but people think that it's a good option to go and try and settle Mars when we have a perfectly, actually more than perfectly, you know, amazing planet that we're already on that is designed for human life already. Um, it's, uh, it's just ridiculousness. Visible rocket ships give us access to explore like we've never had before. It will be a great moment of introspection for humanity if you're the person who finds that one little fossilized flower on Mars. I'm Chris Hadfield, and this is my masterclass. All right, and let's have a quick look at his sales page. Chris Hadfield teaches space exploration. Get all access. 28 lessons, 100% exclusive. Okay, explore the unknown. And you, can, you too can look at a rocket ship like you don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> ah, yes, I am being facetious. Um, I mean, this is just, seriously, this is a lesson plan. The introduction, astronaut training. <laughs> the astronaut training. Rockets, how rockets work. And, and you get a bonus, uh, a, a bonus Chris's journey, so you get Chris's story. But basically it's all rockets, how rockets work. So it's just all these, all these, the ISS, <laughs> it's just all these lessons on rockets. And you can do it all, and it costs, uh, it's 240 bucks a month. Um, you know, so it's like, what's that, like $3,000 a year, and at the end of it, Guess what you have as far as qualifications go? Nothing. But you can get started now. The rocket equation, it's a beautiful thing. 